the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Brought to you by Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Out of the West and into your home, riding the range of mystery and adventure, blazing the trail of Western story and song, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage, that seller of tall tales, Gabby Hayes, the Queen of the West, Gail Evans, and in person, the King of the Cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. I hope you buckaroo side with me when I say there's nothing lower than a thief. <laughs> Gabby, what happens to a fellow who steals out here in the West? Well, now, son, I reckon the best way to answer that question is to tell the story of the horse thieves of Paradise Valley. So sit around the campfires, buckaroos, and I'll relate an adventure for Rip Snorton. It'd make a bronc jump right out of his garage. Well, about ten days ago, us folks of Paradise Valley went over to Dale Evans Circle E Ranch for a little shindig he was giving. Now me, myself, I went with great reluctance. Because if there's one thing I don't enjoy, it's hobnobbing with women. Dancing around and all such things. Just a plain waste of time as far as I'm concerned. Well, Pappy, it's about time to head for home. Head for home? Roy, I promised the next dance to Mrs. Whitebody. Okay, we can wait that long. And the one after that, the Grace May Hobble. She's the plump little lady with the yellow hair. And Edna Steele's a deaf giant to have me run to the new step. No, because... no, no, you don't, Pappy. We're heading for home right now. Oh, shut are you? Just coming over to say goodnight, Dale. You ain't got no vitality, the young whipper. <laughs> I just stay longer, but something's been disturbing our horses lately. Want to check on us first thing in the morning. Well, I'll walk outside with you. Well, yes, when I find me a plump little lady with yellow hair. Yeah. Hello, uh, Roy. Hello, Perry. I've been trying to get you in a corner all evening. That's so? I guess I just didn't notice. Uh, you too, Miss Dale. I, uh, I wonder if you thought to ask Charlie Davidson to your party tonight. Charlie Davidson got a special invitation, Perry, but he didn't even bother to answer. Well, I wouldn't be worrying if I were you, Perry, after the treatment you and the other writers got from Charlie. Why, I'm afraid he the day he got in from the east. Didn't matter how long he'd work for his paw. Sure, but those fine horses the old man was raising. And now in six months, just since Charlie took over, they're mostly gone. Nobody knows where. Roy, do you suppose those riders he brought in could be stealing them? It's possible, I suppose. Charlie was raised in the east by his grandma. He doesn't know anything about running a ranch. Roy, maybe I shouldn't say this, but Charlie Davidson has been trying all over to borrow money. He's even offering to put up his land as security. I guess there isn't enough stock left to sell a mortgage. Yeah, his riders must be stealing from him. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to lose any sleep over Charlie Davidson. He's shown plain enough he doesn't want anything to do with us folks. So, let him go on his way. And a bit like his paw. Uh, do you suppose he ain't the real Charlie Davidson? Do you suppose he's somebody else instead? Excuse me, Perry. Steve, is that you? Yeah. Howdy, everybody. Oh, Howdy, Steve, Steve, the party's almost over. I told you on the other... I'm going to go to Dale. Any of your horses are straight off. The Palomino. What? Not the Palomino. Yes, ma'am. They got out through a break in the fence. Something's been disturbing in the last couple of nights, so I was checking. Come on, Dale. Gavin, I'll ride out with you and Steve. Help you round them up. Uh, if I can do anything... You enjoy the shindig, Perry. This won't take long. I hope it won't, Roy. What do you mean? Well, that break in the fence leads out onto the Davidson ranch. Now, I'm not saying anything against Davidson. But I think if we're going to get those Palominos back, we'll have to do it quick. And maybe with guns. There's funny things happening on the Davidson Ranch lately. Is the break here, Steve? Yeah, that's it. I don't see why the fence should be broken. It's almost new. Well, let's have a look. Post might be loose and laying over the wire. No, the wire's broke. Light a match here, will you, Gabby? Sure thing. That's it. I followed the horses on the Davidson's ranch for a ways, but I lost the trail. Dale, your Palominas didn't stray off at all. They were stolen. Stolen? How do you know? The wire's been cut. Cut ends are as shiny as can be. Steve, you lead the way to where you lost the trail. I'll take over from there. 
Let's get them now before they have a chance to get the horses out of the country. Right about here, where I lost the trail, Ross. Too bad the moon don't come up till so late. It's hard to see what we're doing. I'll help you look, son. I got regular magnifying X-ray eyes. The moon isn't due to rise for a couple of hours yet. And, well, that may be too late for it. But whoever stole the horses will try to get them out of the valley before tomorrow, won't they, Roy? They sure will. A man traveling through the valley with a string of ten valuable palominas is bound to attract attention. Roy, somebody's out there. Oh, hey, 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 Everybody head for Dale's fence. We can't fight it back in the dark. Well, we're over your boundary, Dale. Nobody will bother us here. Some rattler is sure anxious to keep folks off Davidson's land. Dale, maybe you'd better go back to the ranch house. The trouble isn't over, it's just starting. Not on your life. This is my affair, Roy, and I'm staying to see it through. But if Dale... there's any trouble, I'm in on it. Roy, listen. What? Yeah. Yeah, I hear him coming this way. Only one rider, though. You tackle him, son. If there's any others, I'll take care of all of them. Is that you, Miss Dale? It sure is. I figured it was, or you might not have got this far. Mr. Davidson is dead set against people prowling around on his property. You one of Mr. Davidson's riders? Who's asking? I'm asking. Roy Rogers. Oh, yeah, the hombre from the double R bar. Sure, I'm a Davidson rider. Why? Don't start anything more. You're a little bit free with your guns, for one thing. But we can talk that over later. There's something here I'd like to show you. It might interest Mr. Davidson. Yeah, I'm always glad to see anything that would interest Mr. Davidson. This fence that separates Miss Evans' Circle E Ranch from Davidson's land has been cut. It didn't break, it was cut. Thanks. That will interest Mr. Davidson. I'll tell him. Maybe he can figure out now what's happened to the horses he's been losing ever since he came here. Well, Just a minute, mister. He suspected a lot of people, but the idea of Miss Evans being low enough what? to steal a neighbor... Oh, Get up on your feet. Oh, that's the way you want it. All right, I'll give it to you. Look out. You trigger that help. I'll make you we should never shoot a gun. If you got any more ideas about where Davidson has been losing his stock, I'd advise you to see him before you get up off of the ground. You and I aren't finished yet, brother. Anything you want to say? Nothing right now. And listen to me. Ten Palominas from the circle he got through this fence tonight. We're trailing him. And to do it, we're traveling across the Davidson Ranch. You got any objections? Not me. I don't care. No? Wait a minute. It's too easy to get shot in the back at night. And the man who did the shooting could claim he thought somebody was trespassing. Especially if he was a side-winding prairie dog, he could claim that. Well, Gabby and I will ride to Mineral City and get the sheriff to come back with us. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot less danger of our being shot if we have the law with us. Doing everything up legal, ain't you, Rogers? Well, we'll see how much good the law does next time we meet. Roy, right, before we can get back to the sheriff, them varmints will run Dale's horses clean out of the valley. They sure will, Gabby. They'll probably start right away. As long as they know they got a few hours before nobody will be bothered. Then what in blazes are we running to the sheriff for? Why, why, you were just pretending. You only wanted them to think we was going. Son, you're using your brains just the way I learned it. Dale, Gabby and I will try to make the Davidson house without getting shot. But, boy, I don't want you. You and Steve head for the sheriff's office. Get him back here as quick as you can. Davidson's going to find that friends can mean a lot before this night's over. All right, Pappy, let's ride. <laughs> Sure sounds as simple as fighting your hair, don't it? Roy and me going to Davidson's house without getting shot while Dale and Steve rode for the sheriff? Catching horse thieves ain't so simple. You'll see why as quick as we hear about stuff in Roy's got an awful lot of faith in. The giant of the cereal is way too low. The giant of the cereal is way too low. You know, if you're a fellow or girl who has your eye on some goal ahead in the way of a job or athletics or school life, it makes a whale of a big difference what kind of breakfast you eat. Your best bet is a good Quaker Oats breakfast because Quaker Oats help grow the stars of the future. 
Yes, doctors say the more often youngsters eat a good oatmeal breakfast, the better they grow. That's because a recent survey shows only one school child in five gets the kind of a breakfast he should have. There's more growth, more endurance for you ambitious youngsters in nourishing oatmeal than any other whole grain cereal. There's more energy, more stamina for hard-working grown-ups in nourishing oatmeal than any other whole grain cereal. Yet for all these benefits, Quaker Oats still cost less than a penny a serving. Order delicious Quaker Oats from your grocer tomorrow. A giant in nutrition, in value, in flavor. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereal is Quaker Oats. I'd a whole lot rather be faced with the problem of teaching a cow to smile and go after a horse thief. But we had to go after these, so Dale and Steve rode for the sheriff, while my pal Roy and me went towards the Davidson Ranch House. Got right up close without anything happening. And... Light burning in the house. Yeah. Keep your gun ready, Gabby. Just in case a rider is stationed here to watch Davidson while the others do their double dealing. Uh-huh. If we get inside the house, I think we'll be all right. And if Davidson will swing along with us, we ought to make short work of these horse thieves. Son, I feel like I must have a rock heart running off in this shindig like I've done. I bet you poor Grace May is waiting for that dance yet. Hey, what's this? And her with yellow hair cleaned down to... Huh? Oh, them suitcases. Yeah, and all packed, too. Davidson's initials on. Must be going on a vacation. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe to get away from the vomit riders. Quiet, somebody's coming. There, that you, Red? Let's come around to the back. It's us, Mr. Davidson. You? you? Roy Rogers and Gabby Hayes from the Double R Bar. Oh, uh, you start with me. I'd like to talk with you for a minute. Well, I, uh, I'm awfully busy. Yeah, I see. Going away on a trip? No, I... But, well, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, just a short trip. To see your Uncle Bill? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's it. How did you know? Fine fellow, your Uncle Bill. Davidson, I'll get right down to the point. We believe your riders are crooked. Crooked? My riders? Why, I... Until now, it's been strictly your own business. But now it's ours. Tim Palomino's disappeared from the Circle E Ranch tonight, and I think your riders stole them. It's impossible, it's impossible. It's not impossible. We set a trap for them, and we'll nab them within the next two hours. But we want you to go along and show us where horses could be hidden on your ranch. Well, I... Uh... Rogers, what you say is true. My my riders are crooked. All but one, Franz McKee. I trust him. I'll send him with you. I, I can't go myself. Too busy. He, he knows the ranch better than I do anyhow. Uh, you wait outside. I'll call him. You're too busy to protect your own ranch? Only, only take a minute to call McKee. He'll be right there. Son, he said he was going to visit his Uncle Bill. I didn't know there was a Bill in the Davidson family. There isn't. We did the wrong thing in coming here, Gabby. Davidson knows his riders are crooked. More likely, he's in cahoots with them. He's trying to make a getaway right now. That may be the reason for these bags and the reason he's been trying to borrow money. Well, what do you know? We better watch this rider he's sending along, too. He'll probably give him orders to keep us away from the stolen horses instead of helping us. Well, how about going out on our own? We can't. They know we're here. They'd shoot us in the back before we'd taken two steps. Gabby, we may be in for a lot of trouble before this is finished. <laughs> right when you said the Davidson rider would keep us from finding the horses, son. Yeah. And I saw a fellow right in on the left. Another came in on the right. And the key is following about 15 feet behind. We're right in the pocket. They don't are. Daddy, next time the key rides up alongside us, I'm going to trick him. Make a run for that hill just ahead. You can't, son. McKee's as much as said he'd use his gun as we tried. I'll get Trigger to rear up and cut a few monkey shines when McKee gets here. With the excitement, I'll make a run for it. And if I get to the top of the hill, I'll have a view of the whole ranch. Son, huh? we'll have all three of Davidson's zombies shooting at us. If he's coming up. Daddy, I don't want you to go with me. Somebody's got to contact Dale and the sheriff. Go with me if you have to, to try to get away. I'll meet you to break in the fence later. Well, I reckon you fellas have seen about all there is to see. Look out, McKee! Huh? Stay away from the trigger! Take the pit and see if you run. Go, Axel! 
Uh, 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 All right, uh, let's uh, go. Uh, Roger, boys, get him off. Good, Roger, man. Just a roguish smile, but he'll never, never, ever cause his wife is right behind him all the while. Ay, 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 yes. Ay, 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 yes. Gabby. Oh, sure. Gabby, you don't know what a beautiful sight you are. You're playing rock, jackrabbit. <laughs> Worry a man almost to death. What do you mean disappearing this way? Now, easy, Pappy. Uh, uh, told me to wait at the break in the fence. I waited till I couldn't stand it no longer. And then I left a note saying I'd be up this hill looking for you. That note probably saved my life, Pappy. One of the Davidson riders found it, came back and told the others. Then they all rode off to the break in the fence. That's where they are now, looking for me. I began to worry about you, Pappy. As soon as they were out of hearing distance, I sang that song. I knew if you heard me, you'd come and run it. Sure, son. It must be getting the cold or something. My eyes feel runny. You're off a good feet. Oh, no, I reckon. I didn't worry for fear you was a goner or hurt bad after the way Trigger told you. <laughs> but, Pappy, I told you I was going to trick him. You should have known Trigger told me was part of it. I guess we'd better find a way of getting out of here so we can meet the sheriff. Sure, I'll fetch Trigger. You got him skate down? Trigger isn't here, Pappy. Uh, ain't here? Look down there, at the foot of the hill. That's where the horse thieves are camped. I ain't got him, not your trigger. Yeah, I sent him there, Gabby. I took a long chance, but I think Trigger can help us if he's with the feed. Look, they're loading trucks. They're going to move the horses out in trucks right now. We've got to move fast. Somebody's coming, Roy. It's Davidson. He must have heard me singing too, Gabby. Give me your horse and you hop put it across that open space. I'll get Davidson and take his horse for you. Then we can both ride. But that's horse for him, son. Quick, Gabby. Cross that open space. Make some noise and let him hear. I'll do her. But I never have no respect for a man that treats his feet that way. Steady, boy. Oh, all the rest, Phil. I've got you, hey. Come on, boy. Let's take you. Hey, get me, you lint nose farmer. That's your last chance, hey. Up behind you, boy. Now. Hey. I got him, Gabby. I roped him. I'll wrap you up on a rope and leave you here, David. Come on. All right, please come up now, son. Yeah, come on, Pappy. Davidson's going to stay right here till I find out why he's been helping steal his own stuff. Yes, I was hoping I could give him a taste of my pile driving fist. We'll be back for you, Davidson. But not until after we round up those horse thieves and the horses they stole. Let's cut across the road, Gabby. <laughs> Trucks will have to come along here, Gabby. They can't go anywhere else. We'll throw up a block B. Let's take our horses and snake those logs over here. Those rocks, too. We'll build a pile big enough that the trucks will have to stop. What if the sheriff doesn't get here in time, son? They take eight men in that gang of thieves. We'll have to hold them until the sheriff does get here. Let's build the blockade fast. There isn't much time. Come, Gabby. And the sheriff ain't in sight. I bet you Dale couldn't wake him up. He'll be here. He has to come this way to get to the Davidson Ranch. Son, if we can't keep him here, you lose trigger for good. Let's stop him, Gabby. We've got to keep him here. Here, Roy, take my fix, son. I'll call directions and you can move. Uh, All right. Put up your hands. We've got to come. Put up, son. They're going to shoot. Trigger can come. Peace, 
done. They just push him out of that truck. The other horse is stampeding to get out of his way. Come on, Sticker, here I'm going. Two store plan things right. The Dale's horses are getting away, but we can round them up after we take care of the coyotes at store. Here comes Dale and the sheriff with us. A couple of deputies, too. Now we'll get them, Pappy. Now we'll get them. We've been needing you, Dale. We've been needing you. You and the sheriff, too. Everything's all right now. Glad you're here, Dale. Howdy, trigger boy. Glad you're here, too. We got him, Debbie. We rounded up all the thieves. Say, folks, did you know this about Roy Rogers? He gets more fan mail than any other star in Hollywood. That sure proves he's a great star. A rootin', tootin' he-man with plenty of know-how and savvy to handle problems and get ahead. Now, here's a tip to you fellas and girls. Coming up the ladder of life. Here it is in Roy Rogers' own words. Roy says, my folks brought me up on Quaker Oats. Yes, sir, that's straight from Roy Rogers to you. So, you fellas and girls, let good nourishing breakfasts of Quaker Oats help you become the stars of the future. Because doctors say the more often youngsters eat a good oatmeal breakfast, the better they grow. So you put a bee in mom's bonnet to cook up a quick, nourishing breakfast of delicious Quaker oats tomorrow morning. Remember to buy Quaker oats, a giant in nutrition, value, and flavor. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereal is Quaker oats. Well, we finally got them all. Davidson's in the sheriff's lockup, too. Now, Dale, maybe there's time for you to tell us some news. What did you find out? He's not Davidson at all, Roy. He's an imposter. I figured that when I asked if he was going to visit his Uncle Bill. There isn't any Bill in the Davidson family. I... What's the matter with you, Gabby? What's the matter with me? My feet hurt. Your feet? Of course. The young whippersnapper made me run with my feet. Now, Pappy. Uh, don't know no better. Think he <laughs> was made to carry a man, same as a horse. <laughs> what about Davidson, Dale? Or rather, the man who pretended to be Davidson? Well, the sheriff has been getting wires and letters for the last few days from somebody trying to find Charlie Davidson. He began to investigate and found out the real Charlie Davidson has been overseas for the government. Overseas? Yes, sir. And this man who claimed to be Davidson is a fellow who roomed with Charlie at college and blamed Charlie when he got kicked out. He was taking revenge then, selling all the stock on the ranch and trying to borrow money on the land. Boy, he was really getting all he could. Yeah, and fast, too, because he knew when the real Charlie Davidson was getting home. He's due next week. Hmm, how do you like that? Seems funny he was able to get away with it as long as he did. Well, none of us ever knew the real Charlie. And when somebody came in and took over after the old man died, we just accepted him without asking any questions. Yeah, I guess that's the way it happened. Say, Dale, uh, I hear there's a shindig over at Al Helms tomorrow night. There is? Hey, I'm going to that. <clears throat> How about your feet, Gabby? Sure, you said your feet hurt. Say, now, just a second, you two. All this trying to push us <laughs> over, ain't you? Well, by Christ... There's a plump little lady with yellow golden hair, Dale. <laughs> I wonder if we can get Jerry Stewart to dance with us. Yes, buckaroos. My pal Roy is all right. Even he does get rambunctious once in a while. Ain't anybody in the whole world except him could have got them horse thieves slick as he did. Well, now we're going to have some real western singing. Roy, Toy Willing, and the writers of the Purple Sage, yes, everybody's going to join in and let go with... Oh, take this bill with quite a cowboy down in Texas. And the western superman, to say the least. He was the roughest, toughest critter, never known to be a quitter, cause he never had no fear of man or beast. So you be I A, I A, you be I O, for the toughest critter west of the Allen Bowl. Once there was a drought that spread all over Texas, so to sunny California he did go. And though the gag is kind of corny, he brought rain from California, that's the way we got the Gulf of Mexico. 
picture is nighttime in Nevada. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereal. 